The House Judiciary Committee will mark up the Democrats' police reform bill today, but Republican Congressman Jim Jordan is taking issue with the legislation. One America's John Hines has more from Capitol Hill. The Bass Nadler legislation is will be marked up in, in committee this week, um, and we have real problems with that bill. Um, there are some elements that, that, that may be okay, but we, we think overall the bill is not where we need to go, not consistent with the President's executive order, not consistent with where Senator Scott uh, where his legislation goes and so we'll be offering some amendments um, and we'll be opposing uh, I think pretty strongly members will be uh, opposing that legislation. Is one of the parts that you're opposing is this issue of qualified immunity. I think the Democrats want to take that away. What's going on with that? Sir? Yeah well and, and of course the converse argument is and, and there's some there's some areas where I do think we could look at qualified immunity in other areas uh, with with other federal officials who I think violate people's fundamental liberties but uh, the argument to where the Democrats want to go is you, you, you won't get police officers. You're already seeing police officers who are leaving the force uh, in, in, in this environment we find ourselves. So uh, getting rid of that, that component would, would make, make it that much more difficult to attract good people who serve in our communities uh, and, and, and who want to be officers. So uh, a lot of our members have real concerns with that. Are the Democrats just going for an issue because obviously they realize that the president is the, G of the, G the different party. Uh, the Senate is not going to pass the Democratic bill from the Judiciary Committee. Why are they attempting to pass a bill that they know won't go anywhere? Are they trying to get an issue here? Uh, who knows? You'd have to ask them. Uh, what I know is we're talking with everyone. I mean, we've talked with the White House, we've talked with the Justice Department, we're at the White House today talking, we've talked with a bunch of our colleagues across our conference, Judiciary Republicans, uh, people in our conference like Pete Stauber, uh, former commander of D Duluth uh, Police Department in Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, people have been in prosecutors. We're talking with everyone. We're talking with Tim Scott and senators. Met with them last week. Um, Tim, Tim briefed our conference uh, today. So we're trying to work with everyone. But frankly, what you see from the Democrats is they're now the party that wants to get rid of the police. And th that makes no sense. And Americans understand that. Makes, we did, we did, we did a, a statement yesterday. We talked about uh, you know, the, the vast, vast majority of police officers do amazing work. They risk their lives and they protect us and we thank them every day. And the response has been phenomenal because Americans get that. They understand. That's just good common sense. And you know, on, on one hand, you've got the President of the United States who's, who's in this town been doing what he said and, and fighting to drain the swamp. And then you've got Democrats who's, who's, who's who are for defunding the police. What a contrast. What a contrast. And uh, so let's focus on working together and get something done, not, not some of the crazy positions they're taking. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.